Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and today is all about configuring your L2 TP access on your unified security gateway router. So let's get started. So first things first, you need to access your cloud controller. And once you're logged into your cloud controller portal, click on your, you know, cloud controller. On your right hand side, you're going to get a nice little slide panel. And with underneath the action column, you're going to click on launch and it's going to launch up the nice little cloud control portal. Allows you to look at your devices, your clients, etc., etc. So on the lower left hand side of the web page, you want to go into settings. And within settings, we're going to go to services. Now within services, we need to go inside radius, which is the default. That's where it's going to take you. And you have two tabs. You have users and server. You need to click on server. By default, your radius server is turned off. So all we need to do is slide it to your right to turn it on and then provide a secret password. That's it. And if you want, you are able to change the ports. That's up to you. Once you change all the settings and provide your secret password, click apply and then head into the user section. Now within this user section, you can click on create a new user, provide the name, a password and a VLAN. Now, if you want this particular user to have access to a particular VLAN within your system, this is where you add it. And also provide a tunnel type and also a tunnel medium type. Now, this is what I provided for my user account. For the tunnel type, I gave it a three, which is uh, the layer two tunnel protocol. And for the medium type, I gave it the IPv4. Okay. Click save and you're good to go. Now, go inside profile. You are able to create your own profile. So if you click on create new profile, provide all the information here. This is really up to you. I can't really tell you what's best practice. So just go over this information. If you want, you are able to use the default one. I like to use the default one because it's already there. It's already created and it's working. Next thing that we need to do is go inside networks. And within networks, we need to create a new network. Now I already created a network within my system. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it. You want to create a new network, click on that button, and then provide all the information. Now, the one that we're going to do is remote user VPN. When you select that, the entire page is going to change. So give it a name, provide your VPN type. For us, it's going to be L2TP server. That's what I use. Provide a free share key uh, and also give your gateway subnet. Now, the subnet, I give it a 29, so that's going to give me a small little range. I'm not going to give it a 254. That's too many IP addresses, so I want to keep everything nice and small. For my name server, I actually provided one. And if you want, uh, you are able to enable require MS chat v2. It's pretty cool to have it, especially if you're using Windows operating systems to VPN to your system. And for the radius profile, make sure you pick the profile that you created. If not, you are able to choose the default one. Once you add all that information, just click save and then you're good to go. Now I actually have the machine that I'm presenting this PowerPoint presentation for you guys configured with the VPN. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. So if I click on my notifications, go all settings right here and go to network and internet and I go to VPN and within VPN, you're going to see my BTN HD, the lab. This is my VPN access that's connecting to my security router, uh, my unified security gateway router. If I click on advance, uh, I give it a connection name. This is really up to you. If I click on edit, it gives you kind of a rundown because when you create a new VPN connection, this is what you're going to see. Uh, you give it a connection name, doesn't really matter. You give it the server name or the the private, not the private, the public IP address. Uh, if you're smart enough, you give it a fully qualified domain. Uh, if you've got like GoDaddy or Google domains, you can actually have a, a full qualified uh, name pointing to your public IP address rather than using the actual IP address. And the VPN type is going to be an L2TP because that's how we configured it within our Unify router. You're going to provide the pre share key, uh, the type of sign in. It's going to be a username and password because we created a username and a password that's going to log into this network. And then you click save. 
And then once you do all that stuff, you click on connect and you're basically connecting into your unified network and you're able to have access to everything. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Leave comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.